following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge and this is The Out of Politics and I've said this before and I'll keep saying it. There is absolutely no show like this, potentially in the United States. Why good, good Democrat, awful Republican, who happens to be my partner? How are you? How are you? How are you, How are you Kid? Have you been in jail yet? I mean, have, uh, they, have they done something? No, no, no. I'm still, uh, you know, freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. You know, what's a shame is the liberals, when you hear things that you don't like, you attack us, and you think we should be in jail. We will talk about that in a right. minute. But first, let's talk to Eric Eastman. Eric, well, how are you? You are for having me back. State representative. representative. It's fantastic taste in You're power. I got to tell you. Thank you. You're in District One. I am indeed. You ran for the office, and yeah, it didn't work out this time. Okay. How do you feel Slim about it? Slim margin of loss. How, how do you feel? Well, you turn lemons into lemonade, and I do that routinely. Okay, which here's, means what? Well, here's the deal. When you are in the legislature, you've got to be there an awful lot. Your schedule is not always your own. And Absolutely. It takes up a lot of your time. We Absolutely. all know that, right? right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a labor of love. You're in uh, civil service, so to speak, because you want to give back. You want to make a difference. But the fact is, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, a lot of ways to make a difference. It doesn't necessarily have to involve sitting in the same great big room every week pushing one of two buttons. So that means you're not upset that you lost? Well, there was an initial... initial uh, you know, moment of uh, remorse. But I don't think people understand that, past. that he, if he you've been. He did a great in, job for uh, Oh, yeah. Know, for oh, Nashua. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I don't think people understand. There is a moment when you lose if you've been doing this. Yeah. But then there seems joy seems to come because you do oh, have yeah. your own time. You've got your life back. And, and. And your life is what? Oh, lots and lots of things. But I will tell you that besides the filmmaking and the acting and the directing and both in theater and film and television that I do, that I'm passionate about. I'm a storyteller at heart. Hey, oh, Besides oh, all that, the fact is my appetite for uh, the political process and for good public policy has grown as a result of this experience. So now I'm going to be involved in other ways behind the scenes, giving back on my own terms, setting my own schedule. And I find that very attractive. Okay, hold on. Hey, Al. If he's going to be doing movies and things like that, don't you think we should get him no, one no. of his movies? We, you might have a mouse in your pocket. You don't have the face <laughs> for TV. I do. Why do you think I'm, I was on Fox Business last night? Oh, okay, That's right. Right. Why do you think I'm oh, on all right, these TV right. news uh, things right. there? For a reason. Yeah. He's got the face for radio. You've got a voice for TV and you've got a face for radio. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, so you, you. No, I'm, I'm loving it. You, I you have do done a film festival. I've been in many film festivals, yeah. One here in Nashua. Mm -hmm. When? Don't you mean film festival, actually. Yes. I don't know of a film festival that's happened. Well, there was about two years ago. You guys had one here. In the we had, oh, we're talking. I know what you're talking yes. about. Yes. Forgive me. Um, that was a, a cool film festival that was populated only with trailers made by independent filmmakers promoting their I stuff. I thought that was a great idea. It was a cool idea. It was a cool so idea. So it was, what, an hour and a half of film, promotional film trailers, right? Yeah, and then film, we got to see the it, actors, we got to see the writers, we got to see the directors. Everybody got was, to talk about their stuff. 
And what's cool about it is it was it was a one night film festival that happened in two hours. Mm -hmm. nice. So yeah, you're right. You're right. That's what I we did. I think my son was involved with something like that too because of, there was a comedy show a few years ago they did in Nashua, and he was uh, running the cameras and some other stuff there. Okay. Who? My son, oh, your son. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's his home. Son, his, his son's heavy into this. So, stuff. Yeah. are you going to be writing, or what are you writing? That's a great question. Uh, I'm not going to give away the. The, the focal is it a point. book? Is this it a, is a no. story? This is something I've been doing a lot of historical research. That much I'll tell you. Ah. And it's based on New Hampshire history, and it's based on the Revolutionary War period. So if you string the dots together, you'll probably be able to figure out who this is going to be about. It's New Hampshire's own Revolutionary War hero, for whom we've Where got a be? giant Live statue free just Live outside free die, of our, uh, just outside mm -hmm. of our state house. No. Look, Look, that's, uh, who is it? Live free or die, brother. No, that's, uh... Buried in Manchester. Pardon me? He's buried in Manchester. No, right the, right out in front? You got it. The big statue. Is who? stands right there. Who is it? I'll keep you thinking. No, Live I know exactly who it Battle is. Battle of Bennington. Live uh, no, hold on a second. The one die. right out in front of the state house as you walk down the street. Dead in the front? Street. That's Daniel Webster. Daniel Webster. Okay. You're talking way down? Right in uh, the front. Next door to him. Next door to him. Oh, 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 oh okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I'm all sorry. Right, all right, I'm I'll sorry. Go away. John Stark. The fact is, nobody's done anything cinematically dealing with John Stark's story. And now that I've put this out there, somebody's going to steal my idea, but whatever. You know, hey, but you know who's good? Go talk to Bill Gardner. Yeah, I know. Right, so I'm talking uh, to a lot of people. Do you about need that tax money, uh, pay his money uh, to do this? Or are you getting people to donate? Uh, no, I'm going to focus on private donations. But, right. You know, because if you talk to him, he'll want taxpayers there taking I'm, money out of their pocket. I don't, to I don't do want this. taxpayers' money. But that's what he. I don't want to steal money from people. God, right? I don't I mean, understand. I like that attitude. Well, the thing is, the thing is that there ought to be in, in each state. Each state is unique, and they got nice settings that other states don't have. So each state should have its own program to promote film production and TV production in their borders. It's good for the state, it's good for their revenues, it's good for tourism, right. it's good for their image. Let, let so. me, let, I, because I still am the chair studying the economic impact of the arts and culture of the state of New Hampshire, sure. I can tell you something that's very, very important. You may not agree with it. If you, uh, Adam Sandler came up here and they wanted to do some filming in New Hampshire, why not? But right. Adam Sandler is a producer also. Oh yeah. So, right. he, so he says to New Hampshire, is there any tax breaks? We're going to bring a lot. They said no. He went across the border. Why do you think we try to get his bill passed? in New Hampshire. Right. Well, that's my my point is. Was he you're really not your for bill? tax breaks, are you? Who me? I am. Yes. Both of you. I am for it. tax breaks. Both of you were on it, and it's coming up because again I this year. Because I think tax breaks attract businesses into New Hampshire, and it, it pays uh, over and over. You know, uh, on the rooms and meals tax, on uh, people gas tax, it, everything. It may be too big an ask to get tax credits on the books in New Hampshire That's at right. this time. It yeah. may Because be. we don't have a payroll tax, we don't have a... Uh, right. But we should make we don't have like the a, same fiscal profile right. as Massachusetts mm -hmm. does, or Georgia, or these other states right. that, have that, that have that mechanism. Right. There's other ways to skin a cat, yeah. like I said. Public-private partnerships, mm -hmm. there's ways to incentivize right. this activity. Well, the state should, should be, because we're 45th in the United States for uh, giving, the state giving money to the arts. That's awful. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. disgusting. That's no, embarrassing. I don't see the arts being deprived in here in New Hampshire. Yeah, well, you create, because, yeah, well uh, they are being deprived, yes. Yes, oh, okay. absolutely. So the taxpayers should pay for that. It's all a matter of how it, the money is spent. It, it, it's, right. Excuse me. Is it done wisely? Okay, mm -hmm. you, know, no. you know what I found out? You do know this, right? That for every dollar spent is a $10 well, How did return. you find this out? Now, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. It's in the process of being verified. It's more than how ten. can they Let verify? Let me finish. Okay, I want to know how It's in the process of I being want a verified. I've been in their commission meetings, so I've heard this. When right. it is, that's all people talking. No, they, they got numbers. They're doing. No, research. they got a lot of numbers. Okay. Right. What we learned is they never did the numbers. Mm -hmm. So when they went before uh, committees to get money or going to the governor, the governor would go, "Well, you know, you only got three hundred thousand last year. I can give you." Two seventy-five. Not understanding that it's ten dollars for every dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, back to you. Yes, sir. That will help you. It could. Are you working with the film uh, television? Matt Newton and I talk 
regularly, with some regularity anyway, and we certainly will be in this next couple of months because, because that same bill that I sponsored these last two years, it evolved, as you know, yeah. and, and we, sh we shaped it. But that's coming up again. Who's bringing One it up? One of your colleagues is bringing it up, uh, Harold Parker. Okay? Mm -hmm. And Werner Horn is also bringing up the request for a study commission specifically focused on media production. You know, digital media. I would love to see that and one of the great problems of doing this, trying to find out the economic impact of the arts was in the arts, in one, it's one group of library, restoration of bonds and buildings, okay, TV, film, then the arts. Mm -hmm. So You're I about said cultural resources. Yes. And I said, yeah. well, what, how much does the arts bring in? They didn't do the numbers. Anyway, what else can you tell us? How can people get in touch with you? Well, that's easy. You can look me up on Facebook. Of course, I'm there. Eric R. Eastman is my name, and, and I'll be very active with making new media in the next couple of years right here in Nashua, in my hometown, because I feel that this city deserves a better reputation for arts activity. Absolutely. So there's that. Uh, a lot of people use social media. You can find me uh, through email, fealtyvowed at gmail.com. Spell it. F E A L T Y V O W E D at Gmail. You know what that means? No. That is sworn loyalty. In sworn old, loyalty. In Old English. Great. So means, people so. should really remember that. Can yeah. they get you? That's your email. Are you on Facebook? Or? Yeah, both of those. Both of those methods are just fine. But uh, are you but, on any other? Do you do Twitter or? I don't. No, I don't. I don't really do Twitter. I stay out of the Twitter verse because I see so much garbage flying back and forth. So. Certainly is. I stay, I stay under the shrapnel. Listen, Eric, uh, I'm not glad you lost. Yes, I'm is. just He's happy lying. there's a Democrat there. He's lying. But, art I know. but artistically, you know that you know, you're yeah, we'll, always one of our buddies. We'll be working um, well, you know, it was, I know it was an be. honor serving with you in the House, even Likewise, though we sir. disagreed. You know, I you would All for right. taxes and fees. Ladies and gentlemen, that's you know? been Eric Eastman. He is still a state representative till the 6th, and then he'll be a former state representative. Yes, that's he'll right. be honorable. Extremely artistic. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in a moment. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and welcome to the Spin Zone. Oh, did you buy my book about killing ants? Actually, this is the art of politics, ladies and gentlemen. And this guy sitting right beside me, Al Baldassaro, hey. we are co-hosts here. He hasn't been here for three weeks because he couldn't get his head through the door. His person won. You owe me. Go ahead. No, I you, owe you. You owe me. I owe you. You bet me you said over and over and over I owe you. that Trump will never win Hillary Clinton is going to wipe him uh, off the earth. Excuse Look me. Look at the polls. Yeah, excuse me. Look at the numbers. Hillary had won by 250,000 2, people. Listen, California, 2 million, Massachusetts, and New York. 500,000. That's for all those votes there. 2 million. Take out California. He's a minority take, president. Take out the... Well, Obama. He is a minority Was Obama president. a minority he president? He absolutely he certainly How was. How come you never said that? What? How come you never called him a minority Hillary he's Clinton a, got more votes. No, because he's Hillary not, Clinton I'm got not the popular vote. I'm talking about minority because of no, his. No, I'm saying I'm Hillary not. Clinton got the popular vote under Obama. Yes. Okay. No. Right. Yeah, he did. No, yeah. she did not. Oh, here we and go no, again. <laughs> here we go again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm. First of all, let me just say, uh, Trump won. I'm not happy. A lot of people aren't happy. I'm happy. But it's now time to do the opposite. From I'm happy. what they've been doing to us. And that is lies. Your person last night got on TV. He did a he great this, job, didn't and he? And he lied, That's and he it. lied, you know something? and he lied, and he lied. You know something? Tell me what he lied about. And, uh, Tell me what he lied about. Murder is going up 100%. Murder all over the country. It's awful. It's terrible. Murder. And right here it says statistically, murder that. has been gone, Can I see that? gone down for the last 10 years. Crime's he still falling lied. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe murder he didn't lie. Maybe he didn't know. Okay. Dumb. This is what he's got. Murder, rape, and robbery declined in 2011. This is 2016. Wake up and smell the coffee. 
Crime still falling. This is CNN. Go to the FBI statistics. Oh, you know. Go you know, to the you, FBI you know, statistics and look Al, at the crime rate Al, in Chicago. Al, Al, Chica Chicago, come on. Chicago is the aw most awful place in the But the crime rate the is world. up in the country. It, no, it's not you up know in something? the country. It's down, and he lied. Okay. And if you don't know that, you know then you're dumber than I'm, a rock. I'm officially right now, and I hate to do this here to a fellow rep, you're a liar. I'm you're a liar. Do you want me to show you? You No, you're you a liar. You, you want to know? W you know, w I'll tell you what. F you're not lying. Uh, you just don't know. I do know. No, you don't. FBI statistics. Okay. So he just lies and lies no. and lies. F so, so hey, listen, that's what you did to me. FBI I'm going to do it to you. No, but at least tell the truth. No, the, I always tell the truth. The FBI statistics is the like. murder rate has been going down for tell, 10 years. No, no. He said yesterday that it was going up, 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 uh, out of the stratosphere. You know, some, it's not. The people that are watching this show, you know better. You have a computer at home. Do a Google search on the murder rate that's gone up. Now, small crime has gone down. He's right there. He is right. But murder, police officer killings are more you, and more. You, but they don't want you, you to know, know that you cops know, are being you know, killed. Al, I'm not going to I'm not gonna let you get away with that. But the it's simple fact. fact of the matter it's is fact. murder has gone down. This is the stuff that we're going to have with Trump. He's going to make things up. He's going to say things, and people like you are going to agree with him and then try to prove him right. He lied last night when he said that. Excuse me. Maybe he didn't know, and that is really scary. No, I think I, you're wrong, okay? You're wrong. You know, I'm not wrong. U.S. murder rates uh, rose in a quarter of the nation's 100 largest cities. Uh, that's by New York Times, the most they hate Trump, okay? They hate Trump right here. Look at their article. U.S. murder rates rose in the quarter of the nation's 100 largest cities. What don't you get? What's the quarter? Huh? What's the quarter? Let's open it up and see. This is New York Times. They're always after Trump. You know, ladies and gentlemen, he's so full of it. Yeah. I don't know why we keep going quarter? through this. Okay, oh, Al. It's saying in a I quarter. Gotta... Wait, let me read it for you real quick. It says in a quarter of the nation's 100 large cities, 25%, basically, of the, it says where rates climbed significantly in 2015. It's even got a map where all the murders are there up. Look it. Look it. This is New York Times. Can you see this? Excuse me. This is the BS you, you, the liberals you, you, don't you, want you, you to you know. know. Police are being no. shot in the streets. Why don't you be sensible and understand that there are murders that take place. Murder is going down. Not, you show me a map where people are getting murdered. Not, I just showed you. All right, okay. New Jersey right. City. He lied. Cleveland, he Milwaukee, lied. He St. lied. St. Louis, Louisville. He lied. Nashville, Barrington, Sacramento. You know, this, this is the this is the All murders are This up. is the sad things. All right, I got let's let's move on cuz I want to get something Cuz you don't like the facts. You throw out BS. It, excuse me. How, I look, just proved you wrong excuse, ex, ex, by a liberal newspaper. Excuse I me. proved you wrong. Excuse me. Yeah. Please, murder has gone down. He didn't know. He in lied last night. In your mind, because you're a legend in your yeah, own mind. Yeah, right. It went down. This the facts is are what we're going to go for with for four years yes. is someone not getting their facts straight? You. Yeah, you're right. I got to yeah, deal with you. Right, right. Not get, you never Burning the flag. Do you think this should be a, it should be a crime? Yes. All right. Let me tell you why. Excuse Let me, me finish. Go ahead. Let me finish. The burning of the flag is protected by freedom of speech. That's not the problem. What is a crime is burning without a permit, okay, is against the law. In cities, I'm sure they got ordinances. Litter on the ground is a crime. Yes, there's violations, and they should be fined. Yes. I agree. But do you think there should be an amendment? To that, to if anyone burns a flag, they get a year in jail or lose a citizenship. I think we should do a constitution amendment and let the states vote on it. You know something, Al? You are such a hypocrite. It, oh. it oh. kills me. Because if they're going to do that, then why don't I set something up where we have a constitutional like amendment like that every gun everyone owns at any time they're not using it, it must be a lock mm -hmm. on it. We'll no. make that a constitutional amendment. In your own Would brain. you do that? No, not at all. No. You want to know all. why that's not going to happen? You might as well. What are you going to do about the cars? Do you know? The cars are killing people. Do you know why? What are you going to do about you're going to? Do you what's know next? What? Lock up alcohol cabinets? Excuse What's me. next? Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's try to keep on the same 
level here. You hate the truth. Do you know why that's not going to happen? <laughs> why? Because nobody is going to touch the Constitution of the United uh -huh. States. Freedom of speech, if it's burning a flag, it's burning the flag. And if you guys turn around do you know, and try to change it, do you, know, you are going when, after can I to the First you? Amendment. Seeing that you're only a six-year, what, six-year state rep, right? How many years have you been up there? Eight. Eight? Okay. I'm going on my 11th year. Okay? Now, since you've been up there, Okay, let me educate you a little bit. First Are we all, still talking about the yeah, flag? Yeah, we're talking about gun locks. Gun locks. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not talking about guns. State we're talking law about the Constitution in, you don't need to make of the, the Constitution United States. Constitution amendment on gun locks. It's a state issue. Excuse me. Do we need one on burning a flag? Do we? No. What? You, all right. Okay. You're not. Listening I agree to me. with you. You're not listening to me. What you said, I said. If people, people like the fire. They should be arrested. If you were smart enough and the typical progressive, you would have keyed in when I said states. Making the decisions on whether it should be a constitutional amendment. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on a second. We have the Constitution of the United States of America. So what you're saying is that every state can break the Constitution me, of the of the United States of America, you, the First yeah. Amendment. Let me educate you. Is that you, what yeah. you're saying? This is the New Hampshire Constitution. This is the U.S. Constitution. We have in here under Article Two A that every individual has the right to protect himself. Others state. We're staying with the flag. Okay. That's a no. constitutional amendment. But you're amendment. too slow you to understand it. what I no, said. No, you're too slow. Did you watch me on TV last night? They keep telling Did you. Did you watch me on they keep, Fox Business yeah, here last he goes. night? He got, I'm, yeah, I'm glad he got in here. Did Maybe you, you won't be able to get out of here with his big head when he gets Google done. Google searched me on Fox Business last night oh, what I said about God. the flag. I said, is there constitutional right by the Supreme Court for freedom of speech? But... They violated the laws of of litter and burning without permits. All right. Okay. Okay. You want to arrest them for that? Yeah. Oh, I agree. Okay. Now we'll let's move on. But we will not touch the Constitution. You don't want to brought up America. the Constitution. I never did. Will you? No, I never First said I would. First Amendment. You're not going to touch it. I never said I would. See, you're, you're not going to touch it. You know you're an idiot. Yeah. You I'm brought gonna, up this BS. I am not a stupid. And let me see. I'm an idiot. You know something? So I'm tired of dealing. Gets up I got to come here and waste my time with <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I <laughs> waste my I, time. You know, you haven't done this for a while. I haven't done it. You I, bring up the most I, stupidest I, things. <laughs> If you understand the <laughs> states' a, rights, Article 10, you know, U.S. Constitution. I lost my train of thought because you, you haven't said that in a long what time. What don't you understand about Article uh. 10 in the Constitution, states' rights? Now, the flag. Are you familiar with the U.S. flag code? No. Okay. See? Is it a code or is it in the Constitution? You don't even know when you voted for Touch it. Touch the floor? Did you vote for what the uh, the law that we put in New Hampshire? A no, few I years ago? no, I don't Under, know. No, I don't know. Governor Lynch? I don't know. And Governor Lynch? T what is know. it? Tell us. What happened is there was a body, an Afghanistan veteran that came into uh, the Air Force Base in Concord, okay, the National Guard headquarters. The governor is responsible for ordering the flag at half mass. He never did it. Governor Lynch at the time. Who didn't do it? Governor Lynch. Okay. I was the chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Lynn Blankenbecker, who was the vice chair, served five tours, Afghanistan, yeah. and okay. Iraq, yeah. and Desert Storm. But anyways, Lynn... It was a Navy commander at the time. Now she's a Navy captain working in uh, Washington, D.C. Okay. But anyways, we, we had to put in a bill to make state of New Hampshire comply with sections 1 through 10. Which was? On the proper procedures for the flag, on when to bring it down to half mass, what to do with lights and etiquette, okay, for the flag. Okay. Because Governor Lynch dropped the ball. Okay. I'm saying is. So the bill is, was passed. It was passed and signed into law. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. But you, you probably voted. You probably voted for it. Did you have anything to do with it? Yeah, co-sponsored. Good. Congratulations. But you probably voted I, for it. I'm very happy. And don't remember. Look, what scares me is lying, not telling the truth. It just happens all the time I've already Trump. proved you wrong on the deaths. No, 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 no. I just no, no. showed you an article. With Trump all the time. And the other thing that what really bothers me. What else did he lie about? Me, Tell me what other, else he no, lied about. Well, I'm moving on because no, I want to no. get a lot done no. today. Tell I want to get you, a lot no, done no. today. You made comments here for people to just take what you All and right. Run with. If Tell you want to get into yeah. it. Let's, let's rock, brother. Excuse me. He made yeah. the statement that he saved 1,000 jobs. 1,100. Well, guess what? That's not true. Why is you want to know why that's not true? Why? Because they were working on it in that state, and it was also being worked on in our Congress. Oh, wait a minute. The Congress was run by the Republicans, so they couldn't get it done. I give Trump credit for bringing it up. That I give him credit for. He should use the bully pulpit 
all the time if that is the case. Okay, now. And I'll tell you what, and you, that, that came about because of what he did, it got done. That's how you get things done. So he really didn't do it. He pushed it. It was already there, and it took place. You know something? There you go again. If you read the article there on Carrier, you'll see that a deal fell through in 2014. You'll see that no other deals came forward there to work out with Excuse Carrier. Excuse me. It, it was in Congress. Okay. No, a congressman no. came up and said, no, look, no. here it is right here. No, no. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, no, no, they wouldn't no. do it. It was, it was a state's issue. It was a state's issue. Excuse me. On, a, on a congressman is from a state. Right. But what I'm saying is that it failed. It didn't happen. Under the Democrats' watch, it didn't happen. Indiana was a blue Excuse state. Excuse me. Indiana was a blue Excuse state me. until uh, Pence and, won. And you, you know, and you know what you're not saying is this: they were losing 2,100 jobs. He saved 1,100, which they were going to do anyway. Having said you know, that, you I want to give Trump credit. There you credit. go, assume. Trump okay. gets All right. credit. All right, so he didn't lie. But go ahead now. He What's gets, the next one? He gets credit. What's the next one? He didn't lie. You just All proved right. it. Give I think. Credit. Now you tell me, isn't it time when he stops turning around and pointing at the media and says, I don't like them. I don't like they them. They lie. I agree with They him. don't tell the truth. I agree, because really? 90% of all uh, media is liberal. Really? Yes, really. Honest really. to God. Are you confused about that? Yes. And you won the election? Yes. How did right. that happen? Because Trump went right to the people. Trump went to the people. Oh, I he see. went to social media. So the Democrats liberal didn't know that. papers never wrote anything about it. Oh yeah, look at the look at the Every times. Every tweet that came out. Look at out. the lies and stuff that the Times you got caught in. Want to look say, at the Podesta emails? Oh yeah, and he's mad because they repeated some things that he had because, done. Like what? Like what? Oh, grabbing a woman by the crotch. They okay. re repeated that. What? They put it on the air. That, that, he yeah. didn't like it. He he apologized for that. He apologized. He said that was locker room talk. He apologized. That's not locker room he talk. He said they'd let That's me. not locker room there talk. There it is. No, you it's a, You know, son, you're a damn liar. I am you, a, you I'm a, a big man. I am famous. I can do what I want. You know, son? Billy Bush said, yeah, you, you can. You are a hypocrite. Right. You owned a bar. You swear more worse than Marines, okay? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you no, do. No, 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 no. Yeah, you do. You don't want to take that away yeah, from you Marines. Do. No, yeah. no, no. Marines no, no. are bad. Because, no. Because okay. us Marines, look, we've been known to use some language. You win... A person like the president or the, the president to be starts talking about how bad the media is when the simple fact is every single thing he said was recorded. Everything by every but he apologized. single excuse me. But he by, apologized. No, I'm talking so about what? I'm talking about but every, the women still voted. I'm for him. talking about everything that he said. Like, so now he turns around after he got all the media to what? To report. He wins the election. He keeps it up. The media is bad. The media is no good. They are the problems. And you know what the media is? Well, it's the media, liberals, progressives. You see the tears in their eyes? Constitution. They, did you see them on election night? It was in New York. Constitution. Uh, what, uh -huh. what number is that? What's that? Freedom uh, of Oh, it's Article speech? 1. Article 1. You don't even know. Really? Right? Okay. Yes. So you are going to, you, but pe they can do what they want, can't they? What, the media? Yeah. But no, no, actually they can't. There's, yellow, there's a thing, a word, what they call yellow journalism. No, no, no. Are you no, familiar no, with yellow no, journalism? No, no, no. I was, on the, look, I was on the I radio. Do you know what yellow to, journalism is? Where they used to be, it used to be a time. If I you, talked to somebody, I had to talk to the opponent. You don't do that anymore. There's also a you know, law called defamation of character. Freedom of speech, you just can't go lie oh, okay. about so, somebody and ruin their life. Let me ask you a question. You name one one paper that they didn't, they said something that was not correct. Name it. Uh, New York Times. New York Times. New Defamation York Times. of character. So yes. do you think they should sue the New York Times? I think somebody should because of there they, should we not, go. they should not be ruining Ladies people's lives. Ladies and gentlemen, that's... That's how should, it starts. No, what gives a newspaper That's the right to lie about a person the New York and Times. ruin their lives? If you would have said the Hudson something or other, okay, New York Times lies. What gives them the right to ruin somebody's lives, put it in the paper, on the news with lies? And let me ask you a question. You Democrats if like that If your wife stuff. walked in here right now yeah. and she thought I was defaming you, she could sue the station for defamation of character? She was pissed. Yeah, you know some. Could she? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, no. No. Not, the, not she, here. She couldn't. The reporter. The reporter. 
that wrote the lies and deceit. Matter of fact, what were they? my wife brought something up. What were well, they? I'm glad you brought my wife up. Because my wife brought something up to you standing right here. And you almost called it. You called it. Come Basically, you're a liar. No, I don't believe you. I did not and we say sent that. You the proof. No, they did not say that. Did you that. send me apology? No, yes, I did. Okay. Did I send you the no, proof that yeah, she gave yeah. you? No, no, no. We won't even get no. into what they do. Li li and listen, I never even knew about me. this listen to until me. she showed me Look, the facts. We know how much garbage has been out there that but, has been misinformation. But my wife, who but is when a woman they say of integrity, that this man went to this party, you questioned of, her integrity. Of, of who? You questioned what? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Oh, she hated you that no. night when she left. Well, oh, you want to know something? Hated. Okay, she comes back in here. I wanted to bring it up. And you know what it says? Mm -hmm. He was invited to this. Right, but it was more about what they Excuse done. Excuse me. So he didn't do it? She tried to show you in the, the he article. He didn't do it. Didn't right, okay. see well, it I don't want to get into On that. how, if you're invited. You're bad enough. I don't want there. your wife after yeah. me. Yeah. All no, right. She loves you now. She thinks you're My nice. You the apologize. Pro my she said you were a big man My to problem is this. You had a lot of problems. You should say, look, I don't care what they say, because Trump says that as long as they can spell my name. I don't care what they say either. I don't care what they say. I don't say, care what the liberal media says. But you says. should say, I will defend people to say it even if I don't no. like it. Well, it's not that I don't like it. I'll defend them saying something that's fact. But when you lie, deceit the people. No, that's not market. the way it works. Yes, it did. No, that's yeah, it not did. the way look it works. Look at the Londonderry Times. Look, I mean, not Londonderry Times. The New York. I, sorry about that, Londonderry. Look at the New York Times when they came out with them women that stated uh, about some about Trump. All the women came out and rebucked what that reporter said. The reporter came out later and apologized because he stretched the truth. He lied. Excuse me. Are you telling the, me that all 10 York, women didn't, didn't Times, say that? I'm saying in the beginning there was another article. Okay? Uh, excuse me. Are you saying all 10 women weren't uh, seduced by I'm or, saying, or, or I'm grabbed saying, by Trump? I'm saying is 30 years later, there's some problems there on hearsay. Hey, when did they bring it out, by the way? You know, they when just, did they bring it out? Just recently. No, no. Just no. During when the general did election. they bring it out about Trump Dur After seducing. Trump made his comments. After Trump right. made his comments. Yes. Okay. So right. now, so we, the women were there. We knew it was and coming. They were afraid of Trump, weren't they? We knew it was coming that's, because that's why. In the Podesta emails, there were emails out looking for women. Okay, they're paying women to say certain things. Okay, on sexual and what looking. You for know a something. Job. You know something. In the Podesta emails, Let, the stuff was I'll there. I'll tell you what. In the Podesta emails, there was stuff uh, back in 2015. How to go after Trump on his comments. Look, oh yeah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. How to go after Trump regarding his sexual Trump things. That's not, guess what? Trump that is not. The, U, the U.S. That's, take, me, take my the, word for it. That's inbounds. That's not Trump, out of bounds. Trump owned the universe and the Miss U.S. pageants. He owned them. He was Walking in on 15-year-old girls of undressing. Beautiful women. Oh, please, give it a break. Well, you, you know. You Democrats. Is that okay, that. though? You know some. Excuse me. Is that okay hey, to walk in on you know women, some, even if they're 20 years old, 21 years old, without, is, without. No, you're damn right it's not. All right. I have seven. So daughter, he's wrong. I got seven grandchildren. So he's wrong. No, no, that was hearsay. He walked in. That was hearsay. He admitted it. Hearsay. No, I he never admitted heard him it. admit it. Never heard him admit right. it. That's BS. Show me where he admitted it. Al. Show me on your phone Al, where he admitted it. Show me. I will. Well, I'm show not going to show you right I, now. I why? I'm showing right you. Now. I'm showing you because you give out BS. Excuse me. You put out. He, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. You put out liberal All right. BS. Let me tell you. If you want to know where that came from, that came from Howard Stern. Oh, Howard Stern. Talking about, gee, Howard I'm the big Stern. guy. I walked yeah. in there, and yeah. they were all undressed or undressed. Yeah. Okay. And Howard boy, Stern. some of these women are yeah. very beautiful. Okay. He said that on Howard you know, Stern's. Is that true? I don't never heard it. All right, I it, never heard if it. If it was true, I would you, you say that me. that was bad and he yeah, should have done it? Yeah, you're right. I would say it, it was bad. All right, okay. He shouldn't have done it. So if somebody, you want to know if somebody writes that and you don't know it, should that be? No, that don't necessarily mean that it's um, you know, it's right. But I mean, it, I want to hear it out of his mouth. I want to hear it. Then I'll say I was wrong. You know, Al. You know, I got I got to tell you something. I think it's really important. I don't go by hearsay. No, no, no. Trust but verify. I, Ronald Reagan. I said. was the one who, by the way. Good comments from Republicans mm -hmm. who said he wanted fair and square. Then move on. Why are you still okay. beating? No. He won. 
Why are you still no, beating you Trump? You don't understand. But why are you still beating? No, it? no, you don't understand. This is where it turns around. When you were beating up Obama, yeah. I had to defend Obama. Right. Right. Okay. Now it's Trump. You're going to have to defend right. him. And I will. All and right. I will. All right. I will. Uh, you know, uh, have you been around Obama? Have you been with him? I've been with him in the White, White House. White supremacists. What uh, the hell is this all about? This is the liberal BS, Ed, because you want to know something? Excuse me. When Obama it, ran, they called Hillary a racist, okay? When uh, Romney ran, they called him a racist. When McCain ran, they called him a racist. This is the liberal. So the, the, Saul Alinsky. The, the, Look the up white the 12 Nazis. Rules. Look up the Democrats' playbook, Saul Alinsky's 12 Rules. Everybody is a racist. Everybody that disagrees with the Democrats is an Islam. You, know, you know something? Uh, I, don't care a what, I don't care what you I don't think there should be someone in his administration who has written, who had a magazine, who let the white racist individuals get in, make their comments, not fight like them, who? call them, all right? Not liking Jews. He's already said this from his first from wife his has first come wife. out and said that. So this the one is he divorced, in. right? So you should have the, him in there? The first wife, the one he divorced. Should right? he have him in Wait, there? Wait, listen to me for a second. The first wife, the one he had a rough divorce with, okay? Think about what you just did, what you brought out here, okay? What? You're going to the word. She assaulted him. He assaulted her. But what I'm saying is you're taking hearsay. Did you read the court That's documents? That's not hearsay. You know. That's not hearsay. You know some Trust but verify. Read the court documents. That's what you got to do. Yeah, and the white, ra the white racist around See, the United the States problem. are celebrating him. You know some Donald Trump had more African Americans, well, women, um, that voted for him. L listen, the police that normally go with the Democrats Donald Trump supported. got 7%, and here's another lie. 7%. Hundreds and hundreds 7%. and thousands, yes, yeah. of the black vote. Yeah. He got 7%. I've seen him. I met him. You should have seen 7%. him at the, when 7%. I was here in New York. 7%. I don't even know how they come up with this BS 7%, because you want to know something? In the polls in Londonderry and other polls there, they do every third or fourth person. They're not asking every person. They're throwing out numbers. It's a bunch of BS. That they was were not wrong. the truth, what he said the last night, polls, and he should say the truth. The exit polls were calling Hillary he, the winner. He, now, you're going to believe their numbers? He should have said, okay, from the I liberal, got a larger from, percentage of black and Hispanic, from the liberal but not hundreds and thousands or more. But that's that's what, a lie. That's not true. How do you know that's that? That's an exaggeration. How do you know that? Because you know they that? did the numbers. How did they do the numbers? No, the numbers have been wrong. You know something? The poll numbers, if they did the numbers, the poll numbers have been wrong. Oh, yeah. The polls were wrong. You're, the exit of polls. You're, you're, exit polls were calling it for, with their numbers. And ladies and gentlemen, calling it for Hillary. I'll tell you something that's not wrong. Get Hillary over it. has two million, two million and a half How votes. How many of them are illegal for ID cards more in California? than Trump. So Trump is a minority president. How many of those right, are on. illegals let's move on. Hold on. in California with IDs giving them the authority to vote? How many? Obama even said, we're not going to come after you. Okay? He even said on illegals when they asked him a question about voting. We're not going to come after you. You remember that? You know something? Obama? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I have to pick the, the fights I fight. I've, I've learned, if I've learned anything at up. At least tell the truth. Look, at if I've learned truth. anything up at the State House is this. You don't tell you the truth. You can't do everything. You don't tell the truth. Pick your fights, go after them, help others and have, get others to help yeah. you. That's called politics. Yeah. Is My fight is I'm gonna tell you. keep the First Amendment and don't let anyone take that away. You guys make me Under laugh. Under any reason. Look at what the Democrats under, under any Obama. circumstances. There's a YouTube video out there where they're dragging out a speaker, a veteran, who's speaking at a, at a uh, military function about Christianity. They dragged him off the stage. There's a YouTube on this here. They dragged, they dragged him, him off, off the stage. stage because he wasn't supposed to bring up God in front of all the veterans. They took him off the stage. That's so junk. I swear to God oh, on my swear children. To God, my wife, I'll tell you what, write I, it down and bring it no, in. No. Don't make I'll statements see. like that. You know, so why do you always... In front this, of veterans, he's just talking hey, about God, so this they is took the off the stage. This is the reason why this show is going to be limited here. Because, <laughs> and I'm serious, because he continues to call me a liar. I'm a man of integrity. 
I don't just bring up BS there. You I, I made a statement. But the video's out there. You made the statement don't that they pulled me. him off the stage because he was talking about God. Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, yes. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I knew when I finally got him, he said, I'm not going to do the show anymore. I'm going across where I can tell lies because all I want. And guess what? You know, Hidge some, isn't there to give him help. I want people to come on to this show. Do a Google search what comes out of my mouth. Come on to the show and let me know that I lied. Show me. Show me where I lied. Okay? And I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm an idiot. I'm and, an idiot. And, and why don't you right okay. now tell them that they may come on here if they want to? Yeah, they can. You're welcome to come on here, okay? There's no reason whatsoever. If you know me, I tell it like it is. I hold no punches. I'm the most attacked state rep in the state because the liberals can't handle the facts. No, you've, been, no, you've been a little nutty, too. No, no. So, how is I nutty? You know, you know, you, how is you I went, nutty? You went over the board. Tell me how I went over the board right, to okay. the liberals. There's one thing I okay, do, I, I do want to say is Al's going to stay here because the minute he leaves here, you will never hear what the truth or someone going after him. Having said that, guess what? He's under the impression that I win all the time. No, no, you don't I win. I don't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not under the I pressure. I don't. I'm under the pressure that you lie then all why the time. are you going to run away? Because I'm t I want factual. I want facts in this show. I don't want BS. This is how, this is, this is how it works, Al. I had all a show. All of a sudden, people don't want to stay and argue anymore. I had a show. So uh, they go and they do what? I had a show called Who's Looking Out for You. I had some people come on and lie. I threw them off the show. Okay? Because I want facts. Donald, Ronald Reagan once said, trust but verify, okay? I don't just throw out garbage here just to sit here for an hour, drive a half hour here to get here, half hour back to go home and waste an hour look, and listen to the look, BS. Look, uh, you, know, you know, Al, I didn't think, you, no, you're not leaving, first of all. You're staying okay. here. But let's just make it really clear that it changes now. How it changes is how you attacked Obama all of a sudden, you have the person there. It's my turn or our turn to bring things out about, about But you Trump. want to know something? Obama said, I'm going to quote him, elections have consequences. Didn't he say that? Yep. Okay, deal with it. Donald Trump is going to be your I president. I did. I am. Okay. I just don't want any lies or stuff. Okay. I wish you'd stop talking about the media as being bad. Because he does they are. all the media. The media stop you know some, it. But no, I'm not going to. But will you but I'm not fight gonna. to the defend The media and the liberals are just like you. Will they lie. you fight to defend the Constitution and freedom have. of speech? Why do you think, you know something, look at your vote if on Constitution. If they lie about Trump at, or not, are you going to fight the difference for that? between me and the Constitution. Are you going to fight? You're 19, I'm are 97. Are you going to fight okay. for the Constitution? You're damn right. I, I, right, okay. I serve my country. Right, You'll right. die for the Constitution. All right. I serve my country. Well, I have been talking years. about things I don't like about Trump. Let's talk about some good things. Yeah. I mean, I will. My good friend Dick, he didn't give you one, but he brought me out a nice <laughs> Christmas gift here in Nashua. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get, get it. Yeah, get it there. Okay. This year I was uh, given a Christmas gift from yeah. the studio. Yeah. Dick, uh, very great guy. Does an awesome job here in the studio. Freedom of speech. And I'm sure he understands that we have to accept the lies and deceit from my good liberal friend over here. But thank you to the studio. A good friend. It's Dick. not lies and deceit. Okay, you're stretching you know, the truth. You know. Excuse me. You know, you know, Al. Okay. Al, my great fear yeah. here is, is when it? somebody keeps saying the media lies, the media lies. All of a sudden, some people pick up and say, "Well, maybe we ought to take a little bit of their, you know, liberty away." That's how it begins. That's how it starts. Trump said, "Oh, I love Russia. He's a strong leader." Yeah, he killed. He killed the uh, uh, the journalist. He he burned down the newspapers. He, he you can't talk clearly. But Trump loves them. I don't have any confidence in the media. I've lost confidence in them. I've, I've excuse seen them. me. Excuse me. Were you were you on Fox? Hmm? Were you on Fox? I was on Fox. And I what was, did you say? I was also on Chris Cuomo. Okay. What I, did you say? What did I say? Yeah. Chris Cuomo. What'd you say? He's liberal media. What did you say? What's that, Chris? Yeah. No, he, he didn't. You know, I went at him. Okay. On there Wait, it's a, it's a liberal media. 
Yeah. Did you get on there and say what you wanted to I say? I did say, yeah. Okay, so that liberal media is not bad. Is this correct? I want the, uh, here's the YouTube, okay, <sighs> that he just called me a liar about. Al. Uh, his Put name is away. Oscar Rodriguez, the guy, the veteran's name. He was asked to perform, okay, but the Air Force was well, going too fast. But anyways, the veteran was kicked out. Go to Google and look and see. This was is what gets kicked, me mad. Was he kicked he was, out? He was, was he, dragged by his arms was he, off the stage. Was he kicked out for talking about God? Here it is right here. Watch, he was dragged off the stage. For yes. talking about God. Uh, what don't you, what, what, read my lips. Yes, go ahead. Yes, he okay. was. Okay, all yes. right. Right here. All right. You'll just look at that. They're taking him off the stage. Wait a minute. Watch him get up. Watch what happens. He's not talking about he, he's God. He's in the veteran. He's in. Yeah. He's yes, he is. He's not talking about God. You know, Sam, you're playing stupid now. I'm looking at I it. I can hear him. I can hear it. He, yes. You're playing stupid. Be All honest. All right. Do the Google search yourself. I just proved him wrong once again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Al hasn't been here a while. Uh, he couldn't get his head through the door, but he has been doing a lot of media and press. You were on Fox also. By the way, this was Oscar Rodriguez. That's his name. I just read it. I didn't realize it was an Air Force retirement ceremony. When he was giving his speech, when he was retiring, it was about God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can turn that off. Okay. You don't know how to turn it off. No, I do. All right. All right, so that, that's it. So let's talk about who he has in his. Are you happy with his choices? You're going to apologize? I just showed you. No, I'm not going to apologize until I hear as he's talking about God, and that's why you threw him out. All right, I'll save that. You save show that. Show you at the end of and the show. And I'll tell you what. Because. I'll tell you what. I'll, you write that down, and I'll, I'll hand mm -hmm. it, and I'll say, I was wrong. He was right. I was wrong. On this show, I spend more time trying to defend my word of integrity than oh, talking about the real stop issues. Your word okay? of integrity. When we go to the grave, all we take with us is our integrity. That's it. When we go. Okay. So, so I'll be going to the gates of heaven. You'll be in hell, brother. <laughs> okay. Now, let's talk about some legislation. Let, no, no. Did hold you on a second. Any bills? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's talk about his, his, you know, let's, let's talk about, because you may be part of it. That's why about I'm bringing what? it up. Oh, what? Are you going to be doing anything with the, uh, uh, the veterans, Veterans Affairs or something? Yeah, probably. Have they asked you? Well, you know, well, no. I mean, I'm always on the Veterans Affairs Committee. No, I'm, I mean, are they, is, is Trump going to do a little something for oh, you? I haven't pushed the issue, but I'm sure I'll get a phone call. He hasn't got to the veteran stuff yet. Mm. He's working on the Secretary of well, State. I, yeah, Did I tell yeah. you I was in New York? For what? I was there uh, when he gave his speech, when he won. I flew out of Boston at 8 o'clock, Representative Fred Doucette and myself. We were right up front in the stage there. He came off the stage, shook my hand, thanked me a couple times for everything I did for him. It was awesome. Fred Doucette and I was there. We were right there in the party there for really? Trump. And we flew back at 6 o'clock in the morning. It was, uh, it was great to be part of history. And then I'm watching on the screen all the Democrats <laughs> were crying and tears in their, in their eyes. And we're all, yay, yay, yay. But anyways, you, it was you know awesome. what I You know what I hope? Were you crying? No. You know what I hope? What? I hope he is a good president. I think he will be. But right now, he has to stop He's attacking not no. the media. I disagree. That has to we'll stop. We'll agree to disagree. I disagree. I think he should put him in you their place. You were on Como show. Yeah. He's a liberal. I, okay. I was on all That's the shows. a liberal show. I was on all the TV so shows. So hasn't he been on every yeah. TV show? Okay. But I think he's he's 100% right. The liberal. I, you know some I scan this TV show. I'm a news junkie. I, I have hundreds of channels on my TV. HBO, Showtime. I pay for my wife's son so he can watch whatever he wants, you know, and her daughter, my stepkids. I don't watch any of that stuff. I'm a news junkie. I watch CNN. I go to different channels. That's all I watch. And I see and I listen and I dissect. Even on Fox, there's a couple of liberals that stretch the truth. And it's a shame. It's but not as much long as, the other ones. as you say, I don't like it, I'll give a, uh, but I will defend the right for them to say it. I will defend their right to say it. I will be happy. I will Not never, if, no ifs. I will never, ever defend the right to somebody to lie and try to destroy somebody's life on it's, their it's lives. Uh, I, I will never I, defend that. All right, I got a question. Never. But, but, I don't care if you're but, media but, or who you so are. So you're willing to change the Constitution a little? No, no. We're in a Constitution that says you have the right to defamation of character or going after somebody. We're, we're a Freedom nation of, of laws. No, 
Freedom, but you have the right to lie. Freedom of speech. So I have the right to yeah. say. Oh yeah. yeah, I have the right to say that this you, guy is you, an animal. You know, you I know, see, you know, it's really bad. I really, see, really bad is that if you want to go to lies, who who's been lying all along? Okay. Why don't we put Hillary Clinton's board up and why don't we put Trump's you know, up and see who's lying? You know, Ken Gids don't have any animals there because he kicks them, he smacks them, oh, he <laughs> throws them around. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's why Ken don't have an animal. He was brought up in court there, there for less than a dog. Okay. Oh, jeez. Right. I was what? You you were grabbing on a dog and that stuff, doing uh, bestiality stuff. I read that uh, somewhere. So that's there the, you hey, go, ladies and First gentlemen. Amendment. Isn't that no? First hey. Amendment. Oh, okay. That's how you destroy somebody's life. No, no, no. With the First Amendment, no, freedom of speech. No, 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 Al. You, you 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 know I understand what you're saying, uh, and I think it goes probably Al. You were cheating on your wife before. Are you cheating on your wife anymore? No, I did. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. That's what I'm People saying. People say bad things like but that. But the thing is, what they're saying that he did, without any proof of backing, without just hearsay, is not right. Okay. Hearsay. Okay. You destroy people's lives. All right. You destroy children in the family. You mentally... So we you. should what, change the Constitution. No, no, no. What I'm saying is we should... First Amendment, they should be telling the truth. Not like the liberals. No, and that who lie. is going to be the judge of who tells the truth? The individual have to... You know, they should be proven. Excuse me. Who's going to be the if one to write it down that who's telling the truth? Now, the, the liberal media have the right to get sources. And don't have the right to... They don't have to release their sources. At least put down. Why are you... I, I'm kind of missing a point... Why are you so much on the media? He's got because, all the media in the world. Because years ago, the Excuse media... Excuse me. No, no, no. Let's stay right here. He the, got all the media he wanted. The, no, no. He did because... He got all his media because, he wanted. Because he went after them. He went after them. That's why. Because he didn't play their games. He called them out on their lies and deceit. He called out New York Times. Then he had do, the decency you, to go visit you, with them you know, and talk to them. Do you know what the fear is? The number one fear... It's people like you who truly believe what he's saying will start just taking a little away from that. Well, he, it's defamation of character. And, and so they come in here and they say, well, you know, uh, he has all Baldassar on. We're going to sue this station because we hate all Baldassar. Hey, we're gone. If the media that came out, is the freedom of speech. If the media came out uh, tomorrow morning on Ken Gidge and said Ken Gidge is a pervert, he did this, this, and this, and there's no proof. What is that? What would happen Definition to your life? character. What would happen to your life? Would you support that? That's freedom of speech. You know something? Would you support I that? I almost that's freedom of speech. fell for it. But that's freedom of speech. Al, would you support that? we're talking about the First Amendment, and but, you're also okay, talking about so somebody you would saying support something that's like... A reporter right, on so, a false So the question is, story. Did, who said what you're not about me. Trump? You're not answering me the question. Who said what about I Trump? Asked you, they went after Trump. There was in the beginning, the New York Times retracted, okay, their story. What? They went around trying to find different women, New York Times. So? They put a retraction there because the women came out, Miss USA, and other ones. They came out and they said, we were never asked that question. We never said that. You lied. Excuse me. Ten so, women Ten women sat in okay, front of cameras. Now, Is that you, we're lying? Okay. Now, the lady, no, no, wait, wait, wait. the lady that the was overweight. Have, excuse me. The question I have to ask you. Ten women came out in the camera. But many is of, that a lie? But many, yes, many of them have been debunked. Really? One was looking for a job. One, one a year before was looking for a job. Give it a break. Oh, wait, one uh, worked for Huffington you, Post. You know, you know, you know something. A one, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Did you, one work for Huffington Post? You can say anything you want. There was one who okay. worked for People Magazine who told his, her boss, who told the cameraman, you know, who, so. told, who called up the prof his prof her professor at journalism, take my word for it. Give him one. So yeah. I got a question. Okay. Are you upset at that? The lady, I am upset of coming out without any type of facts. Excuse me. We have Ex excuse me. There was no facts. Excuse me. It was he hearsay. says he grabs women. Let's, they okay. come along and said he now, grabbed me. There was a woman there, the U Miss USA, or whatever she was, that was putting on some weight. They all said how Donald Trump went after her. How he destroyed her, called her a fat pig. But then the video showed up. And there's Donald Trump speaking, we're not relieving her. We're going to be working with her in the gym. We're going to be doing this, this, and this. But later on, 30 years, 20 years later, he's a bad, bad man. And there's the video. It was the reporters 
who attacked oh, her. Oh, you know what I forgot, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. You, you never You know what I forgot, and you, he has too. What's that? It's called politics. Politics no. is not nice. You want to know what I told you? Politics Bob? is where they make mm -hmm. The sausage, and believe me, you don't do want, want to see it. Do you want to know what I told How Donald Trump? How can people get in touch with you? Wait, you know what I told minute, Real quick, seven. what I told Donald yeah, Trump ahead. about politics? I said, Donald Trump, I said, you're going to be an elected official. I said, you're not going to be a politician. A politician will tell you what you want to hear and kiss your butt, lie to you anything for a vote. You're an elected official. You're a statesman. You tell it like it is. How can people Al get Ball in touch with you? I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Um... You can reach me, get my website, www.albaldasau.com. You can call me at 425-6997. Stop by my house, 41 Hall Road in London, Derry. And so Al Baldasau will always be here simply because he wins as much as he loses. No. Guess what? But I he get a may, heart, my, my get, blood pressure goes up. He may up. get frustrated. My blood pressure goes up. But when I start the show, I always say, there's no show like I this. I won my sixth term, and he won as the He's president. He's upside down. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, this Access TV station and all our Access TV stations have the pure freedom of speech. But well, we won't you destroy somebody's life. You can get this back and forth like everyone else. We my name is Ken Gidge. We won't destroy somebody's life you with can lies. get me at Gidge World or call me, 603-864-9332. Thank you very much. Fiction, facts. He's in his own world. Yeah, I'm in my own world. Gidge world. I, everybody knows that. <laughs>